Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rosio and welcome to another episode of how to remodel a Minecraft desert village. In this episode, we will be remodeling the large house, which is one of the bigger buildings in a village that has a somewhat L-shaped look to it. So without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Before we start, I should point out that there are two different kinds of large houses. The only difference between the two is that their back walls align to either the left or right side, as you can see here. So I will be remodeling the one where the back room aligns with the right side. So if yours is the other one, you don't need to change anything, just be aware that my left and right side is the opposite to yours. Now that we are on the same page, let's start by removing all the stairs on the roof, as we will keep the desert theme of having a flat roof. Once the stairs are removed, we will then add sandstone blocks around the first layer of the roof. Also replace any smooth sandstone blocks on this layer with regular sandstone. Next, remove the top two layers of the roof. We are now left with a gap in the roof that we can fill in with smooth sandstone. Now that we have ourselves a flat roof, we will then remodel the front entrance area. So at each corner, add a column with a sandstone block at the bottom, three smooth sandstone at the middle, and another sandstone block at the top. Then add a row of sandstone across the top layer. Next, place two upside down sandstone stairs at the top corners. Then remove the front door and replace it with two spruce fences. Also knock out the wall next to the window and place two more fences. Now replace this window here with a smooth sandstone block. Then at the bottom layer going from left to right, add a sandstone slab, replace the stair with a sandstone block. Add three stairs, and then add another sandstone block and slab. Next, add a spruce door at the center, and then we'll add flower pots at each side with your choice of sapling or flower. Next, we will remodel the right side wall. So we'll begin by removing a 6 block long and 4 block high rectangle out a block from the left side of this wall. Now replace the two smooth sandstone blocks at this inner layer with regular sandstone, and then fill in the rest of this inner layer with sandstone so the wall is indented. Next, add upside down stairs at the top of each corner. Then add two spruce fences for a window three blocks up and at the center of this indented wall. Next, replace three sandstone blocks with smooth sandstone for the edge of the wall here. 
Then add this same wall of sandstone and smooth sandstone off the end here. Now between these columns with smooth sandstone, move the wall back a block like we did in the previous section and make the same design with the stairs and spruce fences. Now that the right side wall is complete, we'll move on to remodeling the back wall. So let's start by adding another column of sandstone and smooth sandstone three blocks over from the left corner. Then go over another three blocks and add another column. Now connect these columns at the top row with sandstone blocks. Next, add stairs at the top corners. Now fill the gap at the back wall here with sandstone. Then we'll add spruce fences at the center of these arches for windows. With the backside wall complete, we will now remodel the left side, so start by removing this glass window and the blocks bordering it to open up the wall. Next, extend the floor out to this outer wall, and then fill in the rest of this wall so the entire wall is flat on this side. Then replace the glass windows to the right here with spruce fences. Also come over to the front side and replace these two smooth sandstone blocks on the left with regular sandstone so it matches the right side of this wall. Next let's head over to the back of the house as we will start adding a second floor in. So let's begin by adding columns at each back corner using three smooth sandstone and a sandstone block on top. Now go over four blocks and add another column at both sides. Then connect these columns with sandstone along the top row. Now at the back wall, fill in the top and bottom row with sandstone. Then add a block at the ends and middle so there is two gaps we can fill in with spruce fence windows. Now on the right side we can fill in this wall as well, leaving a two wide gap at the center for spruce fences. Then at the front section, add two blocks on the top and bottom row at one of the ends. Also place a block here and add a fence next to it. Then we can simply add the same design at the other end. Next add two stairs at the top corners and then that will be all for the front section. Now at the left side, add sandstone across the top layer and at each end so there is a 2x2 gap that we can fill in with spruce doors. Once the walls are up, we can then fill in the roof with spruce slabs.
Next, add chiseled sandstone at the top of each corner. Also add them at the center of the front and back wall. Now place sandstone slabs between the chiseled sandstone at the back and front wall. Then at the left and right sides, add in two stairs that face away from each other. Next we will make the lower section of the roof look a bit nicer, so start by adding chiseled sandstone at the corners and middle of this front wall. Then add spruce fences along the rest of this lower roof area for a railing, and then that will be all for the roof. Next we will build a staircase up to the doorway on the second floor, so come over to the left side and start by adding a two wide stairway up five blocks starting from the bottom of this window. Then add sandstone blocks along the stairway that slope up to 5 blocks high. Now extend a walkway out from the stairs to the edge of the building. Also extend the wall at the bottom out 3 blocks. Then fill in the last part of the wall with one of the columns of sandstone and three smooth sandstone on top. Now go in a block from the back of the stairs and fill in a wall between these columns. Then add two upside down stairs at the top here. Next we will add spruce slabs over the top of the second floor entranceway. So place these slabs along the top of this wall, one block above the door and three blocks out. Then we'll place spruce fences along the edge of the stairway for a railing. Also connect the fences up to the slab overhang if they are underneath it. With the exterior complete, we will now head inside. So first we can get rid of the old wall that sticks out here. Then at the back left corner, we can knock out a 3 wide wall so it opens up to an area under the stairs. And also fill in the floor here with sandstone. Next we will add a staircase up to the second floor. So at the back wall, next to the window at the center, build a two wide staircase off to the right side. Then clear an opening in the ceiling and connect up the staircase, and then that will be all for the interior work. It's entirely up to you if you want to add furniture and decoration to the inside, as this will presumably be for the villagers, However, you can see how I designed it here. So that is going to be all for this Desert Village Large House tutorial. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episodes in the series as I will be remodeling all the structures in a Desert Village as well. And with that being said, any feedback and rating is much appreciated, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.